Good afternoon. You know, this uh, video weblog is for my Asperger autism friend, well, long distance one, Gary Bird, down in uh, Brisbane, Australia. You know, as it is, uh, in his latest E, was it the uh, video weblog? He touched upon the issue of was it uh, people still believing in and whether uh, certain so-called experts still peddling the notion of was it uh, autism being caused by vaccinations. You know, that and of course uh, still was it uh, the main proponent of this was it uh, pseudoscientific was it uh, bullshit is uh, the uh, Andrew Wilson who uh, wrote the study you know created the uh, study about vaccines and uh, autism and, uh, of course, the study was totally flawed, totally bogus and bullshit. And, was it, uh, he had his MD license, was it, revoked in England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland and in the United States. You know, was it so? Was it uh, the guy is a total, the total was it, was it uh, off the wall fruitcake who thinks he knows what the problem is? And, of course, was it uh, this month is, uh, you know, they call Autism Awareness Month, but I prefer to call it Autism Acceptance Month. And my local chapter of ASEN, the Autism self Advocacy Network, is supposed to be doing something the uh, second or the, the third week of third weekend of uh, this month, you know, to hold a couple, uh, hold a couple gatherings. You know, hopefully was it uh, one of my Asperger autism friends, uh, Lydia, you know, is it, can uh, pull through and get a, uh, and get a uh, meeting room or two, was it uh, down at uh, Northeastern University in uh, Boston on Huntington, Huntington Avenue, which is the, uh, which is the uh, E, was it, line on the uh, MBTA's green line, you know, the uh, trolley. So was it uh, hopefully that'll go through, so we can have the this, the the these gatherings. One's going to be for adults. The other one's going to be for as uh, it uh, families with children who have autism to be able to meet, uh, to be able to meet and mingle with adults who have autism and Asperger's syndrome. And uh, you know, that I just was it. Uh, also, Gary, uh, my friend Gary in uh, Brisbane, Australia, was with it. Uh, touched upon the issue of uh, employment and uh, being on the autism spectrum. And of course, the issue was it with uh, vocational rehabilitation services. Being was it uh, totally uh, 
not up to the task of helping us with it, uh, with uh, obtaining and maintaining employment throughout the adult lifespan. I will note that the last time I used vocational rehabilitation services for the disabled here in New Hampshire, the uh, vocational rehabilitation counselor I had, when she found out that I was gay or homosexual, and what she actually did was she actually went ahead and told employ and contacted employers that I was morally unfit for employment. She actually destroyed my employability. Of course, here in New Hampshire, there are no protections whatsoever for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgendered disabled adults. Well, for any uh, who anyone who is LGBT, but it especially hits hardest those adults who have physical, mental illness, and uh, developmental disabilities who are LGBT because the social services system is set up in such a way that the uh, providers can and do with impunity with it use their religious beliefs to decide who is and who is not worthy of receiving vocational rehabilitation services for the disabled or, or even other disability related services. So if you're a disabled adult who is lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgendered, was it here in New Hampshire, you are completely shit out of luck. So essentially, as I said, uh, so I'm telling you, my friend, you, my friend, uh, Gary Burge down there in Brisbane, Australia, that essentially I have no access whatsoever to vocational rehabilitation services because of my sexual orientation. And, uh, you know, this puts the one out of five of every adult who is on the autism spectrum shit out of luck here in the state of New Hampshire with being able to access vocational rehabilitation services you know to be to be able to become employed and as I said the vocational rehabilitation counselor I had a Ms. Phyllis Bartlett in the uh, Manchester, New Hampshire City Office of the uh, of the uh, State Department of uh, Vocational Rehabilitation for the Disabled. You know, when she found out that I was gay or homosexual, and what she actually did, you know, I've been able to find this out only was it. Uh, serendipitously, you know, with it after the fact, you know, with it that she used her religious beliefs to tell, to actually, and actually contacted employers to tell 
potential employers here in the state of New Hampshire that I was morally unfit for being given consideration for employment. And she actually, Ms. Phyllis Bartlett, at the Manchester office of the New Hampshire Department of Vocational Rehabilitation for the Disabled, you know, between the between the years of 2003 to 2006 when I was last in the system, she took and uh, you said used her religion and actually with it uh, made sure that I could never be employed anywhere in the state of New Hampshire, even though I have a four-year engineering degree from Wentworth Institute in Boston, Massachusetts. And I have extensive work history of working in the electronics industry intermittently since 1978. And of course, when I left the system, I essentially had to agree to never, ever ask the Hampshire folk, the New Hampshire State Department of Vocational Rehabilitation for the Disabled to, to never again ask for services. So essentially with it, and of course, for the last 10 years, I have been on SSDI, you know, with Social Security Disability insure, Insurance Income, you know, essentially because I am totally, permanently unemployable throughout the entire state of New Hampshire. I just want to take and, uh, put this out there. And actually, my friend uh, Gary, down in uh, Brisbane, Australia, I just want to say with it, you know, with it, uh, let you know about my experiences with uh, vocational rehabilitation services for the disabled. Because you have, you personally have concerns about the system down there, you know, with it. Uh, where you are down in the uh, Br Brisbane, Australia, and you have uh, friends down there w with Asperger's and autism who are also getting the shaft from, uh, well, getting screwed by the system. Well, anyways, uh, I will uh, sign off on this uh, video weblog, and I hope to hear from people you know about this